big boy again. These guys are pulling out all the stops to try and slow you down, but you can't just ignore these. Yeah, but I'd rather not. There's a thing on the ground. Dang, that is a... I know, it's a great move. That is really good, but you don't get to spin with it. He can spin. There you go, you can break the little arm, arm doodlies. <laughs> He's sitting down. Look at him. There you go. And then another one. Bullseye. And the birds are like, well, we're gonna help. Well, they only oh, fly. Oh, it's, it's Good job. Are you I'm I'm being Sonic the Hedgehog again. Sonic. He did you just rocket jump with that? Well, why don't we do this in the first place? Oh, this is going to be an Oh, uh. What is going on? Did you see the red glowy things? Yeah. But I can't stop. I just got to keep going. Just got to jump. You, you died. Yeah, you're supposed to be stronger than this. I'm trying. It is interesting that you can jump. It's not really how gravity works, but... Yeah, like, what am I supposed to be doing? Apparently climbing, but running? I'm... Because, like, I can jump a little bit. But I can't like do anything else. Well, there you just went right through them this time. Yeah. Clearly, that's what you're supposed to do. Ooh. Okay. That I was guess. beautiful. D. Nice D. Took you a long time. Blah 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 blah. And I meant now. Look at the dudes. With our see through the Japanese garden. There's no such thing down the same. Memes. Well, that's what the entire last dude was talking about. I know. You and all memes. He likes memes. I Ooh. Guess. This is just inside of a building. I mean, if I was rich, I'd. That's pretty sweet. Especially with the cyborg ninjas. Very traditional Japanese. Like, this is the most Ninja Gaiden it's ever been. I mean, yeah. Are you not Ninja Gaiden? Ryu? Ryu Hayabusa. Ryu? 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 I played Dead or Alive. I, I mean, think you're Raiden. You should be Ryu. Raiden Ryu? Luigi? <laughs> Waluigi? Wah! Wah! There was a, a Flash video I saw a long time ago. I think it was Flash. Um, it was like, Wario gets told, can you not go a day without saying wah? wah? And then he, like, he goes to IHOP and he's about to order waffles. And he's like, I'll have the wah pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> I love waffles. Nothing beats a good waffle, gotta say. Get some. There's blue on the ground. These people really love their indoor rocket launchers. Ever just melee someone with an RPG? That guy did. I like the dude in the story. He just like keeps jumping up behind you and just dashing to the side or something. Got it. They're like, oh, the RPG guy will help. Yeah. He totally won't accidentally kill me in the end. Right, you know, he won't miss, or the guy won't dodge. He's he like, just... I got two swords, what do you got? One? It's like, well, I also got 
a Psy that works like a grappling hook for right. some reason. That guy didn't die. That's a new guy. He just came out. Oh, well, no, you broke the other sword. It's the same guy. Are you stabbing? Are you, is that little, like, that little, like, downward slash with the Psy or with the sword? Yeah. It's with the Psy? Yeah. Careful with the hand. Got it. Left hand. I got six of 30 of those. There you go. He hit the ground and ran out of Zendatsu range. So I'm just gonna like. Do we increase the Zendatsu range? Because I feel like your stuff keeps getting out of the range recently. At least with the Psy. I don't <laughs> that know. dude just kicked you in the skull <laughs> and, then and then exploded. Blew up. <laughs> he was like, I'm Wait. gonna die, but I'm gonna kick you. See, they just they should just not take down that wall. Yeah. Like that wall you couldn't get through. Just leave it up. I know. Like. If I was a supervillain, I'm going to use the term supervillain because, you know, he's kind of bad. Oops. Yeah, he's ninja run. Can I just ninja run up it? Yes. Well, we are ninjas. Boss. Ooh. Nifty. Where are we going? I don't know. Is there a box? I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk above you was connected to a corridor meant for transporting materials. Come on. You can take that to the elevator. You gotta... well... Mm, ah, mm. Box! Yeah, mm, Okay. There's a dude. What is that? Oh, one of these dudes. Stealth kill. Stealth kill! Come on. Don't accidentally walk forward and bump him. Oh. Right in the ass. And we're floating. Neat. Ooh, there's a Datsu box. Hmm? What was that noise? There was a dude. Yeah, how do you think those other 50 dudes are doing? Oh, they're probably fine. I haven't heard anything back from them though in a while. You might want to go into a barrel. Isn't that the barrels better for the more robotic people? Also, you can't walk down. You have to jump down. Oh, I just fall. Didn't think that would work for some reason. There's a dude in there. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> that dude took his RPG and was like, there's a box. Should I... Sh should I shoot the box? <laughs> I don't know if I should shoot this box, guys. It's it almost just, worked. It's just sitting here, menacingly. <laughs> Look at this box that no one ordered. Ah, ooh. The oh, big guy. The big wibbly arm dude. He's, uh, he's punching you pretty good. Oof. You hurt my testicles! I forget where I heard that. I think it was like Devil May Cry, Stupid Files, or something like that. Oof. Ow. You guys are... Mean. Yeah. Just you... wait till I do this and just start destroying everything. Hmm. Maybe with Ripper Mode to be worth upgrading the... Yeah. ...capacity of your energy. Oof. Come on, guy. I'm trying my hardest here. Don't you love it when you're at work and something like hits your foot and your foot turns like blue? Yeah, you're just doing your job and some dude just hits you slightly and you just come a grid and then you just touch a butter knife and your whole arm falls off. All right. Like, you can take so much, but then when you turn blue. Yeah, yeah it's blue. It's Careful, piece of paper, right off. I've seen it happen. Oh yeah, Charlie lost his dick like that. Mm hmm I saw it. Charlie's dick? Yes. Or Charlie loses dick? Mm, yes. <laughs> okay. Box. Quit hopping over the box. This dude, this is not relaxed. Adderall. <laughs> Data storage. Useful. I know, we can never have too much space. Especially when the video files are 14 fucking gigs apiece. 
It's all right. We should have a different way of like um, measuring that. Like, how big is, how big is um. I'm really good at forgetting. Scott Pilgrim. How big is Scott Pilgrim? Movie, game, or book? Game. Uh, like. Well, all three. How about that? Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll scale it off of this. So Scott Pilgrim, the game on 360 is like. I want to say two gigs. Okay. So how big is the movie? Uh, depending on which version you get, uh, like, like we'll, we'll just say regular HD, not like that'd blue. be the 1080p one. Um, I want to say at least a... ten. Okay, so that's five Scott Program the video games. Yeah. A bus Scott Program the the graphic novel. Oh, dude! Depending on how well it's compressed, like two. Two bytes. Two gigs. gigs. Two gigs. Yeah. Is that like a? Is that like the big size or the small size? Uh, small and because so it's you, bigger than the game. Because there's six books and the hmm. last book's pretty hefty. Hmm. They're good books though. You should check them out sometime. I don't read. Oh. You don't read or you can't read. No, I can read. I just actively choose not to. They're cursed. Ah. Oh. All written words are cursed. Ah. So how big is this game? Like, what, like, five Scott programs? Four Scott programs? I don't know. We'll, we'll go game, because that, that's, that's the easiest one to remember. <laughs> I'm... Scott program. I, I mean, game. I can look, but I don't think this game's actually that much. I think it's, like, le like 13-ish. It's so like six and a half Scott programs. Uh, yeah, this... Well, okay, so, like, the HD DVD held, like, I want to say, I don't fucking remember. Because um, a Blu-ray would hold, like, 50 to 100 gigabytes, and the HD DVD was holding, like, 15. I'm going to look into this because I'm honestly confused. Because uh, the 360, this was one disc. Hmm. And 360 uses HD DVDs, which is the dumbest thing ever. Right. Because that guy, those guys just crawled through ground. By yep. the way, I could have zendatsu them, but I was too far away. Mm. <sighs> there we go. Wow, I got more zendatsu. What does zendatsu mean? Glory kill? I don't know. Something cool. Oof. Okay. Messed that dude up. Yeah, that dude is a lot of spaghetti. The game decided that dude really needed to eat shit. Okay, yep. this thing just spawned in. Cool. Yep. That's how elevators in Metal Gear work. Just shit shows up. Like in... Was they playing a beat-em-up on an on a elevator part? I mean, this is a beat-em-up, so I guess that's fair. Yeah. Ooh. The sword beat him up, so I guess hack and slash? Yeah. Hack and slash adventure action game. Ooh. Stealth. Ah, uh, you like the, the wire. I'm just remembering the boss fight from Toy Story 2 against Zerg, the evil emperor. Psh, I Zerg. never made it that far. Oh, you didn't? I beat. I 100% of that game. It was difficult, actually. Uh, if we ever get a PS3 working, I have it on that. It's on the PS3? Well, they ported the PS1 version to the PS3. Oh, I see. I had it on the 64. Uh, I also have it on the 64, but recording that is a chore right now, because I don't have a retro tank. Oh, I see. Or a uh, open source scan converter. Ah, uh, always missing those. Yeah. I want one, though. They're both, like, the same price. And they do the same thing, kind I of. I feel like after we kill this guy, and maybe one more <laughs> dude, the elevator's gonna conveniently reach its destination. Or just fall. That's fair. But you have to just climb up again like before. Yeah. How tall is this fucking building? 
conveniently tall. Inconveniently tall. Because, like, he climbed up a good chunk of it. But anyway, yeah, you fight Zerg at the top. Like, the tippy top above, like, the elevator. Like... You, you know, like, the like the top of the elevator where, like, the pulley system would be? Yeah. Uh, that yeah, thing you fight we cut through earlier? Yeah, something like that. Um, that he was up there. And you gotta fight him up there. Makes sense. That's what happens in the movie. That is true, because you climb, because they, you, they were in, um, the building. Another raptor. And Ripper that mode. thing died. Yeah, Ripper mode is great when you actually have a chance to use it. Hey, it's another two of doggy. Them. Oh, one has a chainsaw, one has a cannon. There's two of them. The problem is Ripper mode lasts like Oof. four seconds, if that. Yeah, I guess it probably would be worth upgrading the things if Ripper mode is actually that good. Oof. Come on, doggy. That size is actually very good for stunning things. Remember that that was like a boss earlier? Yeah, and you couldn't beat it. Yeah. I remember that part fondly. I remember being terrible at video games. I remember. Oh, they're invisible. Oh, they should have stayed invisible. Hey, you were just standing on that, too. You're like, screw that box that guy is standing on, but not the guy standing there. <sighs> Come on, dude. I just want to, like, turn you into goo. I just want to punch you. You don't know what that's from. No. It's from the movie for Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Goodwill Hunting? Or did they have another movie? Yes. I've, I found its name funny because it's a pun on goodwill hunting. Yes. And I was not able to find it in my TV guide at the time because it would always find goodwill hunting hmm. and be like, did you mean this? I'm like, no. You gotta go call the dudes on the thing. Yeah. The little tripod dudes. They're gonna stop See, that's elevator. why they have three, so they can do this specifically. So they can slow down the elevators yes. specifically? Yeah. When I designed my robots, they definitely have that option in mind. You barely nicked that dude to get that. 